by Jacques Derrida. What comes before the question? It's often said that when philosophers start a course of philosophy, they start by stating the question. What is the question of being? Is the inaugural question of philosophy. They say that it all began in Greece when the philosophers asked themselves, Tiesti, what is the sense of this or that? Essence. What do we mean by the word being? But at base, the first question. On the question that preoccupied me, I didn't invent it, it came from my readings. The first question on the question has two parts. First, is, as it's often said, in the way that Heidegger thought, is questioning the privileged form of philosophy, is thinking really questioning, as it's often said, couldn't there be, before the question, a more ancient, profound and radical movement that is not questioning, but is really an affirmation? That's the first question on the question. Then, even presupposing that the first questioning of philosophy concerns being, what is to be, what is the sense of this or that? What do we mean by the word being? Is there not something presupposed in the way we come to understand being? That's not something I invented, but something more or less inherited from Heidegger and reinterpreted in a certain way. Heidegger was suspicious of the Greek philosophers and their tradition of privileging the present participle of being, meaning a presence of being, haven't we, in our interpretation of being, privileged a modality of time that is the present? And the presence of the present, as soon as one is suspicious of this presentness of the present, of interpreting being as a presence of the present, are there not serious consequences that follow this desire for the present? the desire to interpret being as presence? This is the question Heidegger formulated in his own way, and I tried to reinscribe, to displace, in different terrain or corpus, in texts Heidegger didn't interrogate. Everything that I wrote about the trace in writing, which is itself the very condition of non-presence, of the present. In order to access the present as such, there must be an experience of the trace a rapport to something else to the other, sometimes to something other than being, to the other past, the other future, or to other in general, but to an other that does not appear as the present or presence. The trace in the way that I elaborate it involves putting into question both the questioning form of thought as well as the authority of the present or presence. That's my explanation of this philosophical debate concerning the authority of the question. I have a lot of respect for the question. I'm not against questioning, since it's the condition of critique and deconstruction, but I try to understand what comes before the question, what is the very condition of the question itself. To ask a question, I must address someone. Even innocent questions presuppose a primary affirmation. I address myself to someone else, and I am saying it's better we speak than we don't, it's better that I relate to the other than not. And so I affirm a sort of yes, a sort of anterior acquiescence. I say it in quotes because it's not a question of time, but rather what precedes the question with regard to the order of thought. Once the question itself is interrogated in this way, then comes the question of the present, followed by the work on what I want to call Trace. Writing. Not just writing in the sense of what one writes on paper or computer, but in everything there is a trace, an experience of a return to something else, of being returned to another past, present, future, a different type of temporality that's even older than the past and that is beyond the future. I want to try to think of a past or coming to be that is not just a modified present, not future presence or past presence, but a different experience with regard to the past or future, and this takes place via a rapport with the other or others.